You're right, Tamia. Yeah. Today I'm making a start on a kid's bed project. I've got two beds that I need to make and they need to be in the style of the Gruffalo. Now this may be controversial, but I've actually bought the bed bases from Ikea. Reason being, they're 50 pound each and there's no way I could buy the materials for that price, never mind incorporate the time to make them. So I've got the bases from Ikea and I'll be building on top of those to turn them into Gruffalo beds. I've had the wood delivered luckily, so I haven't got to worry about that too much. I've got it all stored in my shed, but the first task is to put one of these beds together. Together. So with all the pieces laid out and somewhat organised, I can start getting it together. Of course I've got all the fixings that I need and the instructions, but who needs instructions? I can do this myself, it's going to be really easy. It's then gone. Well, luckily that went together much easier than I expected it to. This piece that you can see that's left here, that should have been in the headboard. I didn't forget to put it on. It's got to come apart anyway because I'm going to be adding pieces on. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But at the end of the day, I think you can see for the framework that you get, it would have took me a hell of a lot longer to even plane up the pieces and get them cut to length than it's took to put it together and for how much they've cost. So from this base level, I think we're on to a winner. So the next thing to do is to take it all apart again. the heat in the conservatory today god it's really took it out to me but basically what i'm going to be doing for the head and footboard is using some 12 mil mdf to do a background mural that will be cut to the shape of trees and maybe some mountains in the background and then i'm going to carve out the characters using some more 12 mil mdf and they'll get stuck on top of each other so it'll give a little bit of depth a bit of a 3d effect and those will be carved and painted and the mural at the back it's going to be for a little lad who's got autism and my idea is to try and make it like a sensory board so i'm going to put some kind of circles at the moment i'm envisioning kind of like portholes that will have different materials like the gruffalo's fur the owl's feathers that kind of thing to be able to feel and to touch that's the idea anyway it's all still in my head at the moment i'm making it up as i go along so if you're interested in following along with the process make sure you get subscribed these style of videos the isolate and create videos these i'm just literally what i get up to each day just being creative. Today it's been flat back furniture, but tomorrow I'm hoping to make a start on getting the CLS cut, rousing out a pocket so the current legs from the bed can fit in and make them more chunky. But I'm also gonna make a start tomorrow on a trophy that I've been asked to make by Keemstar. He's got a podcast called Mom's Basement. It's got like a brick wall effect on the background and a neon sign for the logo. So I'm gonna play around with the idea with that and see what I'll come up with, but I think it should be a good one. So stay tuned for that. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreon supporters. I'm going to leave all your names up on the screen while I showcase some of my TikTok videos. I've been having far too much fun making these. If you want to follow me on TikTok, the link's in the description. But basically, each and every day, I've been posting some quick short videos called Laughing Instead of Crying. Very tough times at the moment, but I really believe that laughter is the best medicine. So I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you on the next one. Day two of Laughing Instead of Crying. I've left the safety of home in Hunt for Food. I'm hoping that I can get some bread, but I might have to make do with Monster Munch. Luckily, the streets are pretty desolate. That's just bursting on a good day anyway. Just hope that I can make it back to home without getting ambushed on the way. There was a rumour going round that this could be a good place for food, but where there's food, there's danger. Just as I feared, the toilet paper, it's been taken. There's plenty of tissues. So lots to keep me entertained. 
so I managed to secure the bread. But carrying it in the open like this since the outbreak makes me a target. It's not job done until I get home. Mom, I got the bread. We got some in the cupboard. Day three are laughing instead of crying. And I've decided to stay inside. Not because of the government's unclear guidelines, but because it's tipping it down out there. Now, while it's definitely safer to stay indoors, my expedition yesterday for bread has made other families aware that we have supplies. But luckily, we have our trusted guard dog, Oscar. He's got our backs. Quick, someone's coming! See, don't stand a chance. Luckily, I've planned for a situation where I need to stay inside. I called for a supply drop yesterday. Now, even though I'm with Amazon Prime, same day delivery wasn't available. So I'm hoping it will come today. Fingers crossed, we have what I need. Got it. Now, of course, I just requested the essentials. Pink watch strap. The panic was starting to set in, but I can breathe a sigh of relief. This colour goes way better.